So welcome back guys, and to start off this one, we are going to use the carpenter to make us, as you will see very quickly, oh, once I do all this, yes, add some diamonds, and some redstone, no, that needs to be diamonds. Uh, more redstone? Huh, I just looked this up. Where'd you go? Logger? Ugh, oh, zombies. Uh, I really need to replace that with an iron door one of these days. But I'm just too lazy. Oh god, not these guys. These are the worst with the lag. Alright. Let's close that up. There's a spider on top trying to kill me. <laughs> anyway, back to where we were talking about. Lager. And we need diamantum blah blah blahs. And we need thermionic fabricator. Didn't we make one of those? Is that this right here? I think so. I messed that up already. Already not using the right tool. No surprise. Okay, here it is. So put the redstone on the side. And throw the diamonds here. And we have ourselves a diamantum blah 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 electronic tube, electron tube, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> and then we need one sturdy casting and a small circuit board. Which I think we have an extra one, right? Somewhere. Not positive where. Mm, not in there. See, so spider's trying to kill me. But don't worry, he is on top of the roof. Which apparently is not lit up enough. If you are, small circuit board. I had to kill a bunch of cows, as I'm sure you guys saw. <laughs> so we have plenty of meat now to eat. <laughs> Forever and ever. Uh, let's take this down. We need the bronze to make ourselves a sturdy machine that, throw that in the middle, throw these around it, um, circuit board on the bottom, I forgot already, oh, and four pieces of glass, totally knew that, don't judge me, you have yourself a lager, woohoo, now I just need to go kill this spider, oh god, there's three of them, what the heck, get out of here, me. Yeah, I got one. Yep. Uh, two. I'm done. I'm done for. Yeah, boy. Alright, so let's find a place for this. Oh. Now, I don't know if this takes up the same amount of like, space as this does, but let's find out. Oh, oh, stop it. Let's throw the logger. Yeah, underneath. Throw it underneath. Come on, if this ever breaks. Throw that underneath. I don't know how to make that work. Unfortunately. <laughs> um, I'm going to assume that I'm going to go look this up and figure out how it works. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here we go. I had to uh, change it around a little bit, unfortunately. But uh, this this will work, I guess. Well, the big thing is we don't want the sand going into here. So this should bring the saplings and the apples out through the top. Okay, so let's get these saplings. Let's throw these in here. There's a jetpack in there, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Let's get the saplings back in here. Let's make sure... Oh, it's not connected. Uh, um, I don't have any more. Uh, let's go grab one real quick. Come on. Here we go. And I hope I have an extra one somewhere. Please. Please have an extra one. Oh, yes. As you guys can see, I uh, connected the wood one to the wood chest. Yeah. This is the advantage of having it right above your house. Just wipe it right into your house. And it doesn't even matter. Alright, so here we go. Let's connect them. It should start doing its thing again. See anything else around here I need? Nope, not yet. Planting the saplings, right? Yeah, we don't want those in there. They just don't even do anything. These are garbage. Oh no. You stay down there. We don't want your kind here. 
Um, let's go grab one more thing after we sleep. I'll be back with you guys once we have it. All right, guys, and we're back. And as you can see, I made a filter. Yes. Now what this is going to help us do is we're just going to put a sapling in here. And then it should just grab a sapling each time I use a timer that I don't have on me. But I guess I should go get one. So I'll be back once I have a timer. Well, here we go, guys. We finally got the timer. Oh, and I ran out of energy in my jetpack. All right. Go me, right? So let's just cover up what we can for now. Can't really cover up too much, obviously. Here we go. And let's see, is that everything? Yeah, basically. Let's cover that up. Oh, can't cover that up. I'll let <laughs> just throw this timer up next to here. And see if he throws him in here. Is he taking that the wrong way? What's going on here? Are you working, filter? Are you backwards? I can't tell. Should be the right way. All right. I don't have any saplings to test out, unfortunately. Okay, okay let's try this now. I picked up what two for that was? Hmm. Put saplings in here. I should take them out and put them. What are you doing with them, filter? Are they going in there or not? I can't tell. They're going somewhere. Where are they going? Why are they going into the filter? What the heck? They're just going in here. I, what? Um, uh, does it not know what to do with it? Is that what the problem is? Does the filter have to go underneath it, maybe? Let's try. And this would really mess everything up. This is how it has to be. I wonder if I throw this under here. So I can bring it like here. Oh. We apparently need more. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, let's just take these for now, and I'll come fix the rest of this up later. I just want to get this to work. Apparently it's acting up right now. I'd like to know why. Okay. Let's take this chest. Hmm, this is weird. Come here. Okay, so let's put this apple. We'll put the rest of the samples in here. Okay. Throw the timer down. It should. What's it doing? It's just shooting them out. Is it just picking them up now? Okay, so this is. Alright, I think I know the problem. I'll be right back. So hello guys, I figured out a different way of doing this. I think we might be better off with just using diamond transport pipes. A little expensive and probably more than we need. But hey, why not over if you're gonna do it overdo it, right? So let us stick this right here. This is where the apples and stuff comes by. And we throw this out here. Let's get rid of this pneumatic tubing. We shouldn't need this anymore. Use that for something else, I guess. I don't know. Do we have any more tubing after this? Eh, gonna have to get more. Um, but anyway, we'll throw a chest down. Right here. Throw that there. Right click on the tubing and stick... What color is that? Black. Stick the apples in the black. And so, saplings in the light blue. Alright. I just remember that. Light in the blue. In the blue. This happens in the blue. There we go. Now we just need some more piping. Of course. Um, I'll be back once I have more piping and get this going. 
Here we go, guys. We finally have everything set up. Um, let me go see why this isn't working, and I'll be back with you guys. Well, guys, I came downstairs, and we have no power at all. <laughs> um, we have no coal. We have nothing. I'm going to turn this actually off. Now I thought it would be the perfect time to upgrade to... Here we go. Commercial steam engines. And for that, we're going to need a rolling machine, which isn't that difficult to make. Machine. Nope, spelled the wrong. Four iron, four pistons, and a crafting table. Shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see what we have in our assembly tables, if that's what they're called. Project crafting tables, too? Project tables. Knew it. Uh, we should have a piston plan. And we have enough. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we just need four crafting tables. Right? Yeah. Nope. Crafting table. I lied. Oh, whatever. <laughs> and four pieces of iron. So let's set this up. Iron on the outside. Nope. And then one crafting table. Perfect. And we have ourselves a rolling machine. Now hopefully this doesn't need too much power. Hopefully we can just connect it to these to these ones. Yeah. Um, let's go downstairs first and try it. Let's see if it'll connect down here. Let's see what happens. Is it power? Zero Minecraft tools? Hmm. Doesn't even connect. Alright. Well, it doesn't go to these. Let's see if it connects to these. Ah, it does connect to these. So let's see if we can go grab from s some yeah, some coal from any of our machines. Do we even have coal anywhere? Um, we might have some. I think in here we have some. Nope. Hmm. Could be in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, okay, we got some coal. Uh, looks like that's all we got. It's gonna have to do until we get these up. Let's see, we'll throw eleven in each. Sounds like a plan. Perfect. I just gotta let them heat up. And I'll be back with you guys when they are heated up. Alright guys, well it's starting to go. Um, it's gonna be a little while, because it's only getting about four Minecraft jewels at the most. I'll see you guys when it is completely done. Well guys, it looks like we figured it out. Um, this works. Apples go in here. Saplings go into here. Yep. It works perfectly. Um, and about the power thing, we're going to need a blast furnace. So I'm going to head into the nether and see if I can go grab some stuff to make the stuff we need for a blast furnace. And I'll be back with you guys when we have the stuff we need. In case anyone was wondering, this is how you make the blast furnace bricks that you need. Um, I, don't, I don't have enough at the moment, so when I get enough, I will be back with you guys. So in order to make coal cook, which we need, we had to make cook oven bricks. Um, this is easy, it's just sand and bricks. Then you just arrange them in a 3x3x3 three by three by three pattern. The middle one empty. And we should... Oh, we missed a spot there. <laughs> then we should have ourselves a cook engine. There we go. Now this you just put coke in, and then it burns it up, and it gives you coke, cold coke, and creosol. Yep. That's really it. Um, I'll be back when we have the rest of our, um, oh, button again. Rest of our blast furnace bricks. Well, welcome back, guys. And as you can see, we have it running to get some steel. Uh, just in the back we have a simple redstone engine with some pipes coming up from this one to bring in the cold coke. So I can just throw the coal in and forget about it. Um, but yeah, let's wait for some steel to be made, and then I'll be back to make the rolling machine. 
Welcome back guys, and apparently all I needed was iron. I didn't realize that I clicked on the industrial one, apparently, which is steel. Oh goodness, so let's go make some iron gears, and we already have the steel plates, right? I just don't remember what I did with them. They should be somewhere. Hmm, I left them in the machine. Let's hope I left them in the machine. I'm not positive. We need iron gears, which means we need more iron, which we have plenty of. Let's go throw this in the crafting bench and see if we actually have the stuff in here. We don't. We do not. Why would we not have it in here? Alright, well let's make the gears really quick. Get out of here. Make two of these. Get rid of this wood. This here. Put that there. Two gears. Throw the iron around it. Oh, we actually need to make stone first, don't we? Duh. Oh goodness, I'm tired. <laughs> Way too tired for this. Throw that there. Do the iron around. There we go. And now we have two of those in the piston plan, because we need pistons. We need a piston. We got that. And that goes at the bottom with a piece of glass here. These on the side. And let's see if we can go find those things that we were rolling up. Did we leave them in the rolling machine? Haha, -ha, yes we did. So there we go. Let's go make ourselves one <laughs> commercial steam engine. And we'll see how much better this is. I'm not actually sure. Ta-da! Come on. Two walls. Uh, let's take down this one. Here we go. And you're black above it, real quick. Ah, shoot! I forgot the wrench. <laughs> forgot the wrench. Does it need water and stuff? Steam. <gasps> Does it just run on water? Oh, that'd be so happy. That'd make my whole day. So that's what the deal is. I'm getting rid of these hobby steam engines. Um, wrench. Crowbars. Wrench, there you are. Let's go turn this engine around. You piece of steak. Back down we go. And turn it. Throw this bitch around it. And turn it on. See what happens. So far, nothing. Um, am I missing something? I'll be right back. Let me look it up. Aha! Welcome back, guys. And I figured out why it doesn't work. Because we need a firebox and a steam boy, uh, steam boiler. Uh, but for that, we need to make some fire charges there we go we'll take that and go back into here this is the recipe for a liquid fueled firebox steel plates iron bars bucket and fuel uh, fire charges now for this we need to bring this downstairs um, I've cleared out some space as you can see we just need to find a spot for this um, it's gotta be where lava and water can get to it pretty simple. Uh, let's just put it right here. Here we go. I just gotta attach. Well, we gotta throw this down first. Which we should have done. Before we decided to destroy the bricks underneath it. <laughs> hey, whatever. Now we got this. Now we need to create. Boiler bricks. We want the high pressure boiler, which is two steel plates. Oh, that's it. We can, we can craft that right now. That's crazy. Uh, do we have any more steel on us? Yeah, let's make a couple more plates while I go in create these these ones so we can get started. We also might need more liquid ducts. I'm not sure yet. Probably will. Uh, steel plates, steel plates. Steel plates. There you are. 
And we got ourselves a high pressure broiler. A boiler? I don't know why I keep calling it a broiler. It's not broiling anything. <laughs> oh goodness. And then all you do is you throw it on top. And then it's on. That's it. And then this is the interface. This is the steam. This is the lava. And this is the water. So first we're gonna have to get some water over heading that way. So let's grab some more liquid ducts. If we have any. Oh, we're gonna need some more. Let me grab some obsidian so we can start pulverizing that. We really need this going because we are out of power. We do not have much left. And hardened glass is that and what? I forgot. Hardened glass. Ah, lead. That's right. We have we should have plenty of lead. Should we just bring the water over first? I mean the lava, because that's right there. We could easily just bring it over like this. Yeah, here we go. This will be fine. Oh, that's a crystal. Okay. Here we go. We'll bring this up the back. I don't think it matters, really. But we'll find out. There we go. And then we just need our wrench. Just need to whack this. Boom. Lava. Uh, please don't start heating up though. Okay, I guess it can't go up the back like that. Hmm. Maybe. Does it have to go in the bottom, maybe? Hmm. Let's find out. Hope not. No, it doesn't seem to care. Do we need a liquid transposer, maybe? Hmm. Well, I'll be back when the water is done. Let's see if we can get the water to go in first. There we go, guys. I figured it all out. We're just going to use the creosote from our coke engine. Yeah, renewable energy. So this means the next step would be to make a... Char we need to make a charcoal station to make charcoal. So we're going to have to head up to the wood farm, and I will think about what I'm going to do for that. Also, real fast, we need to pipe this energy over to this steam engine. Actually, mm, yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to move all these engines, actually. So let's, this doesn't have any energy anyway, so let's move it. With this, we're going to do lots of conduits. Lots and lots of conduits, my friend. Take that. Oh, we didn't bring any conduits, did we? So let's grab some of these. It's going to be a while because these things take forever to cut. Da -da -da. Come on. I really need to fix the build craft bench. So we'll work with this. There we go. Alright, so let's... Where do we want to put this? I want to start making energy now. Which means we want... No, we don't want the hobbyists. We want the... Commercial steam engine. We'll put that right on... This wall. Mm, whatever. And we'll pipe some energy to it. Oh, we, he's not going to have enough to reach. Mm, so first we got to put the steam up to it, right? Ah, so much going on. Ah, that's what it is, okay. Well, first we gotta pipe the steam to that, and then we turn that on, and that pipes the energy for us. Duh, I'm being stupid about this. <gasps> I also lost one of my conduits. Which kind of sucks. A lot. It sucks a lot, actually. Let's see, oh, there it is. It's bouncing around, let's go get it. 
And we got it. Okay. Well, while I get this all set up, I will be back with you guys. Welcome back, guys. After a little bit of time rewiring and moving things around to make this actually work, uh, we have done it. We've automated power <laughs> from the tree farm all the way down to the hard, the solid fuel fireboxes. Um, let me just show you how it works real quick. So I didn't cover anything up, so I can show you guys. Okay, so the coal coke actually this has nothing to do with it. But unfortunately, I wish this ran on charcoal, but it doesn't. That sucks, really. So it goes all the way from the tree farm, cuts it down, splits it 50-50, sends half the wood here to turn it into charcoal, and sent down this long pathway that's covered up, and into the basement. As you can tell right there, goes into the basement. Is this covered up? Yeah, it's covered up. Uh, let's get around. Let's run back down. downstairs real quick. Come on. Goes down into the basement. We're just split up 50-50 between these guys. I'm sure I don't need the diamond pipe there. But it's there anyway, so whatever. And these guys are creating quite the amount of energy for these guys. Not enough for this to even start filling. So we're going to need some more of these engines. More steam. We're definitely gonna need more of these. We're gonna have to at least two more, and then two more of these on top. Um, but first, next episode, we're gonna start a quarry. I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> we might need more energy first before we begin that. Um, we're probably just gonna set it up over here, connect it right to this, which is why I think next episode this will probably all look different because I'm gonna need more energy, and this is not the most efficient way to make energy but uh unfortunately guys that's it um i'll see you guys next time on the next episode of feed the beast uh hipster is done <laughs>